सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डी जी टी स्टडी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वर्किंग मॉडल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिस ऑफ वाटर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रोलिस इन जनरल इलेक्ट्रोलिस इज डिफाइंड एज द प्रोसेस बाई विच आयोनिक सब्सटेंसेस आर डिकम्पोज इन टू सिंपलर सब्सटेंसेस वेन एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज पास थ्रू दैम एंड एज फार एज इलेक्ट्रोलिस ऑफ वाटर इज कंसर्न it is the process of using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen separately this reaction takes place in a unit called as an electrolyzer now this is the setup of electrolysis of water as you can clearly see over here let's see its component first so we need two electrodes which can be made out of graphite rods which you can easily obtain from two pencils regular pencils then you need two crocodile clips as you can see the black one and the red one or you can simply use two copper wires then you need a 9 volt to 12 volt battery as you can see over here easily available at any store a transparent container so that we can see the reaction through it water and salt or sulfuric acid the schematic diagram of electrolysis of water is as follows you can clearly see here the negative one is the cathode where reduction take place and hydrogen molecules accumulate which in our setup is represented by the black wire and the positive one represents anode where oxidation take place and oxygen are accumulated at that which in our setup is represented by the red wire once the circuit is set up current starts flowing through the electrodes and electrolysis of water starts the chemical reaction involved in it is given by this at cathode at anode and the net reaction you can clearly see the molecule of hydrogen formed at cathode is twice as compared to the molecules of oxygen formed at anode so let's see how it looks in a real project so for a better view let's flash light over here and let's zoom in so that we can have a better look of electrodes now you can clearly see on the right electrode which is the cathode one bubbles are bigger and more in number as compared to the left one which is anode where oxygen molecules are collected thus this is in consideration with the chemical reactions that we just saw this concludes that number of hydrogen molecules collected at cathode would be twice as the number of oxygen molecules collected at anode so let's see the uses of electrolysis Number 1 since electrolysis is a promising option for carbon free hydrogen production from renewable and nuclear resources thus it is used for manufacturing hydrogen on large scale number 2 it is used for manufacturing heavy water number 3 metals like potassium magnesium aluminum etc are obtained by electrolysis of fused electrolytes number 4 non metals like hydrogen fluorine chlorine are obtained by electrolysis number 5 compounds like naoh koh white lead etc are synthesized by electrosynthesis method number 6 electrolysis is done for coating one metal on the other this is also known as electroplating in this process we coat an inferior metal to a superior metal by electrolysis to protect the superior metal from corroding the object to be plated is made the cathode of an electrolytic cell and that contains a solution of ion of metal to be deposited 
Thus, electrolysis plays quite a role in making our lives easy. So this was the project. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have any query, post it in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe DGT Study. We'll be bringing you such amazing videos on a regular basis. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. All the best.